We went to in today's show, we have a story about a student internship. About intern September 22nd. A story on banned books. Hi, Vikes. I'm Jessica. And I'm Morgan, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. There will be a meeting in the library at 115 today during CLP for anyone interested in the Thirst Project water relay race. A FAFSA workshop will be held on Wednesday, October 16th from 6 to 8 in the KBI Forensic Science Building. Last week was Band Books Week. Let's go learn what that was all about. September 22nd through the 28th was Band Book Week. Our own Seaman Library owns some of these banned books. The goal is to make people aware uh, about a person's right to read freely. Uh, they, go, they like to go through, it's kind of a historical look at books that have been deemed inappropriate uh, over the course of the last, you know, 100 years or so. Um, but it's really about teaching people uh, that they have the right to read freely. I know that in the English department we've had a few banned books or potentially banned books that we've taught. So Of Mice and Men, which a lot of people teach during their sophomore year, and To Kill a Mockingbird, also taught during sophomore year, um, are sometimes considered banned books for language that occurs within them because they say the N-word pretty often. And so those have been like potentially banned books, but they weren't officially banned, at least not here. And so we've continued to teach them. Um, and then one that we're teaching in freshman literature for a Washburn class is called The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison and that one is oftentimes considered a banned book or a potentially banned book because of um, sexual type language and um, just poor language anyways. I think that it's useful to promote banned books because a lot of the banned books or potentially banned books are actually super useful with talking about themes of race, um, sexual abuse, uh, and difficult situations that a lot of people live through every single day. And so by allowing those to be talked about in a classroom, which is a safe setting, I think that it helps students feel more comfortable in those situations or understanding how to deal with those situations and creates empathy for other people who have been in situations similar to those. If you'd like to learn more about banned books or like to go check out one, go see Mrs. Esther in the library. Hopefully you were able to learn something new. Attention juniors and seniors, the Topeka Public Schools College and Career Fair is Monday, October 9th from 1 to 3 p.m. See your counselor for more information. The first in the series of career and life planning sessions with Ms. Ross is in the library on Monday, October 7th during CLP. Students interested in attending Washburn Tech, there is a test offered October 9th, 30th, and November 20th. The deadline for the 9th is today. Please park in your assigned stall. Security still has students who have not purchased a parking stall. We have a story on student internships. Let's go check it out. We went to talk to Mrs. Noble to learn more about our internship program. The internship class is only offered to seniors and only at second semester their junior year. They have to apply. And the reason they have to apply is because, again, when I reach out to businesses to set up this internship for a semester, it takes a long time to get that resolved. Um, so like if I'm working uh, to look for placing someone in a hospital setting, I have to really talk to the doctors in that setting and ask them if they're willing to do this. They have to look at their schedules. Um, it's, it's a bit of a process for that to happen. So we only allow applications for that internship class to happen to juniors their uh, spring semester when they're enrolling for classes the following year. But the internship class is um, a two day a week, 90 minute placement at a career that a student is really interested in going into um, after they leave high school. Senior Lauren Wren is one of the many students doing an internship. Well, I specialize with going with the SVU detectives, so we really work with uh, victims of sexual assault crimes and people who have been 
abused or domestically violent towards people and we work with not only the victims but the suspects and we do a lot of just what you would see on TV but into a deeper level than that. Well, I want to do child psychology with my going into college and that's what I want to get out of college so we placed me with detectives that work with children who have been through um, serious traumas because I want to focus my child psychology to kids who have been through serious traumas and who have been assaulted and I want to help them so now I'm working with them personally with what's happened when it's happened so it'll give me a bit of an insight before they actually get to go talk to somebody. If you are interested in an internship go to SeamanSchools.org under Career and Life Planning. Click College and Career Internships. If you are interested in an internship, go talk to Ms. Noble. Now over to Morgan for sports. Oh, hi. What am I doing? Oh, I'm practicing for the water walk on... Saturday, October 12th from 4.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Seaman High School football field and stadium. All proceeds go to Thirst Project. Can't wait to see you there. There will be a tailgate dinner at tonight's home varsity football game against Topeka High at 5. Suggested donation is $5. Now over to Jessica to see if this cool weather will continue. For today's weather, right now it is 58 degrees and the rest of the day the highs are going to be in the 50s. So the game tonight is going to be a little chilly. For the next three-day forecast, the highs are going to be in the 60s and 70s. Now back to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Mikes. Have a great rest of your day.